thunderstorms are so annoying. Hey, Gigi, what's up? You look down. I hate rainy days, especially thunderstorms. Can't go out to play. And there's all that thunder and lightning. The thunder and lightning are so scary. How can there be something like thunderstorms? Don't worry, we're indoors. It's safe now. How about I take you to see Mr. Weatherman? He can explain why we have thunderstorms. That's a great idea. Better than just sitting here watching the rain. Hi, Mr. Weatherman. Well, hello. Today's weather isn't great. Stay indoors, okay? Yeah, today's weather is awful. I don't get why we have such scary things like thunder and lightning. Haha, <laughs> thunder and lightning are actually pretty interesting. Let me explain how lightning and thunder happen. Let me guess first. On stormy days, the sky gets dark, almost like it's mad. Is it like the sky gets mad and throws something shiny down? And when it hits the ground, it makes a loud noise. Haha, <laughs> that's an interesting way to think about it. But thunder and lightning rely on a key player, and that's clouds. Thunder and lightning are like electrical sparks between clouds. When strong winds move clouds, when two clouds meet and rub against each other, the water vapor inside the clouds generates static electricity, which forms lightning. So it's not something thrown from the sky. It's the clouds throwing down lightning. And the thunder happens because the air is shattered by the lightning. But I always see the lightning first, then hear the thunder. Hmm. Is it because our eyes are positioned closer to the front than our ears? Ha 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 ha. That explanation is quite funny. But it's not quite like that. The reason we always see lightning first and then hear thunder is because light travels faster than sound. Light arrives before sound. Next time you see lightning, try counting the seconds between the lightning and the thunder. Every five seconds means the lightning is about one mile away from you. Wow, thunderstorms have some really interesting science. Absolutely, but on stormy days, it's best to stay indoors. If you're outside, remember not to stand near trees or high places and avoid playing near water. Most importantly, if you hear thunder, try to quickly leave open areas and find a safe place to take cover. That way, you can protect yourself. Well, remember that. Thank you, Mr. Weatherman. You've made today's thunderstorm pretty fascinating. Oh, looks like the rain has stopped and it's clearing up now. The smell of the grass after rain is lovely, but I still prefer when the sun's out. The sun feels so warm. I love it. I not only love the sun, but I also love the other planets in the solar system. Solar system? Yep. The solar system is like one big family with a super, super big sun as the center of the household. Other members are various celestial bodies. Some orbit the sun directly, like Earth and other planets, while others orbit around these planets, like the moon orbiting Earth. How do you know so much? That's amazing! My dad and I are both astronomy enthusiasts. He often shows me books about the universe and planets, and we frequently visit the planetarium. That's awesome. I don't know much about planets, but I'd love to learn more about the sun, the moon, Earth, and my favorite, Saturn. How about this? Let's embark on a planetary adventure. That sounds like a super cool journey. What are we waiting for then? Let's go. Wow, space is really beautiful. Yeah, but I feel like I could float away any moment. Hello there. Are you here for a planetary exploration journey? Oh, you're the sun. I'm so grateful for lighting up our world. Haha, <laughs> yes, I'm the sun. They call me the super big guy. I've got immense heat and light. I'm a passionate giant, delighted to share light and heat with the other planets. I remember you're much, much bigger than Earth, right? That's right. My diameter is about 109 times the Earth's diameter. And my volume is nearly 1.3 million times that of Earth. My size and mass far exceed Earth's. The sun is such a warm and generous big guy. Oh, Lily is floating away. Are you all right? Feeling the weightlessness in space is quite something, isn't it? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, we're here to learn about planets. You're, 
You're the moon! Hey, Lily! I almost couldn't keep up with you. This planet is so adorable. What planet is it? Hello, I'm the moon. I orbit around Earth. My diameter is about a quarter of Earth's diameter. You're such an adorable little guy. Why are you sometimes curved and sometimes round? Because I'm constantly orbiting Earth, the sun doesn't always illuminate me fully. When you see me as round, it's because the sun is lighting me up entirely. But sometimes, the sun only illuminates a part of me, and that's when you see me as a crescent. Ah, I see now. Lily, over there, it looks like there's a really big fella. Gigi, that's Saturn, your favorite Saturn. Hi there, how are you? Are you talking about me? Oh my, yes, I've seen it in books. It looks like a giant yellow balloon with a gorgeous ribbon around it. Yes, you're just so cool. Haha, <laughs> thank you. I'm Saturn. I'm the second largest planet in the solar system. My most striking feature is my ring system, a series of bright rings made up of ice and rock fragments that encircle me. These rings are spectacular and make me look even more captivating through a telescope. Yes, I'm your fan. I've collected many pictures of you. Thank you for your admiration. Although I'm beautiful, I'm not suitable for human habitation. My conditions are extremely harsh for humans. That's right. The most suitable place for us is still our home, Earth. Can you point us in the direction of Earth? Look over there. That beautiful blue planet is Earth. Hello, folks. I spotted you while you were chatting with the moon. Are you enjoying your journey? We're having a blast. But right now, I'm starting to miss the landscapes on Earth. Forests, rivers, oceans, and all the fascinating animals. Yes, I'm the only planet in the solar system with life on it. I'm quite a special place here. That's truly amazing. I've heard people refer to you as the blue planet, and it seems from space, you really are blue. That's right. Over 70% of my surface is covered by water, which gives me the blue hue. I boast a diverse range of natural environments, including continents, oceans, rivers, lakes, mountains, plains, and forests, nurturing various plants and animals. Oh, I'm so proud of our planet. It's so incredible. I love you all very much, and I ask you to take care of me. Conserve water in your daily life, avoid littering, and protect the oceans and forests. Let every species living in me have their own space. That way, I can stay beautiful and vibrant. Earth, we'll make sure to take good care of you, beautiful blue planet. Hey, Gigi, did you see the night sky tonight? It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I did. Every time I see the stars now, I think of our journey through the planets. It was such an amazing adventure. I think of it too. Each star in the sky represents a unique planet. Look, the moon is crescent today, which means only a part of it is illuminated by the sun. Oh, the adorable moon. Lily, quick, there's a shooting star. How romantic. Let's make a wish. What are you doing here? There was a rabbit here just now, but it ran off as soon as it saw me. I followed it, but couldn't find it. I think it might have gone back home. But I didn't see any little houses on the ground. Ha ha! A rabbit's home isn't on the surface or in a little house. Rabbit burrows are usually underground, sometimes called a rabbit hole. They dig their burrows in soft soil or under grass, and these can be quite deep, often with multiple tunnels and rooms. Sounds interesting. Let's go find the rabbit hole. Even if you find the rabbit hole, it doesn't mean you'll find the rabbit. Rabbit burrows usually have multiple exits, so if danger approaches, the rabbit can quickly escape. Rabbits are really smart. Rabbit burrows are fascinating. Actually, besides rabbits, many animals have interesting homes. Like spiders. Spiders make their own homes in the form of spider webs. Some are round and symmetrical, while others are irregular and triangular. Besides being their home, spider webs help spiders catch small insects. Spiders place webs where flying or crawling insects might pass by. And when prey touches the web's threads, 
the spider senses it and swiftly captures it. Wow, spider webs are really unique homes. Beehives are special too. Bees live in beautiful hives made of beeswax and pollen. Inside the hive, there are neatly arranged hexagonal cells. These cells are used to store honey and pollen as well as to nurture baby bees. Wow, beehives are both a home and a workplace for bees. That's truly amazing. Oh, I thought of another animal with a unique home. What is it? Tell me. It's the home of ants. Ant homes usually consist of one or more underground tunnels connected by passages. The size of these tunnels varies among different ant species. Some can be small, while others can be very large and complex, almost like a palace. Like a palace. I didn't expect tiny ants to have such luxurious homes. That's not all. Inside an ant's home, there are rooms with different functions, including nurseries for raising larvae, storage rooms for food, and chambers for ants to rest and protect themselves. Different types of ants have different roles at home, like caring for the young, foraging for food, cleaning the nest, or guarding it. That's truly a big family. Ant homes are amazing. Look, there's a squirrel. It's so fast. It went into that tree hollow. I get it. That's its home. Yes, squirrels like using tree hollows or crevices between branches to build their homes. They choose dry, safe, and concealed places, often within tree trunk cavities. Squirrel nests are made of twigs, leaves, and other materials. They construct a round nest, which serves as not only their dwelling, but also a place for storing food and raising their young. Sounds like a cozy home for squirrels. Yes. In the summer and fall seasons, squirrels actively gather various nuts, seeds, and other foods. They stash these in their nests to eat during the winter. By wintertime, squirrels have plenty of food stored in their homes. Today I've learned so much about animal homes. I can't help but marvel at how unique and fascinating they are. When I get home, I need to talk to my parents. I want to make my home more unique too. How about building a treehouse? Or a house woven with leaves? Castle would be cool, but it takes a lot of time. Hey, where are you guys going? Wait for me. Hello, kids. Hope you guys like our channel. Learning is a fun journey. Here we can learn useful knowledge together. In this episode, we learned about how thunderstorms form. Do you still remember how lightning is created? That's right. It's when two clouds rub against each other and create an electric discharge. But why do we see lightning before we hear the thunder? I'll leave that question for you. If you don't recall, rewind and find out the reason. Although the formation of thunderstorms is fascinating, I still prefer sunny days. I love the sun, the moon, and the super cool Saturn. Of course, my favorite is our beloved home, Earth. Exploring the universe is so much fun. Are you also interested in space? Which planet do you like the most? Exploring the universe isn't just about discovering new things, it's about challenging our imagination and curiosity. The universe is mysterious and fascinating. During the journey of exploring the cosmos, you'll find each planet has its unique charm. At the end of this episode, we explore different animal homes with Lugi. Let me quiz you. What's this animal's home? That's right, it's a rabbit hole, the home of rabbits. And what about this one? Yes, it's a spider web, the home of spiders. Each animal has its own way of building its home. They use different materials and construct their homes in different places. You can learn about different animal lifestyles and interaction patterns just by looking at their homes. Isn't it fascinating? Subscribe to our channel so you can find us more easily and never miss our updated videos. The story in the next episode is more interesting. See you next time. See you. Oh, say, oh, play me. Come out and play with me. And bring your dollies three. Climb up my apple tree. Slide down my rain barrel. Go through my cellar door. And we'll be jolly friends.